On this super quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up the Nectar Impact LX Mini with Ableton. Let's get right into it. First thing, make sure it's plugged in. I know super simple, but there's been times where I'm like, oh, it's not working. And I realized the cord wasn't even in fully and it was completely dark. So make sure you plug it in like so. Make sure it's lit up and then go to your computer. I'm on Ableton right now. The first thing I'm going to do is go up to live and then preferences. I'm going to go to link, tempo, and MIDI. And you can see right here, I have the Impact LX Mini. Make sure these two are checked. That means Ableton is getting an input signal from the MIDI controller. If it's like this, you're going to notice up here, a little cool fun fact about Ableton, nothing's happening, right? Nothing at all. But once I check these two, you can see Ableton is now getting a signal. Every time I press, it's lighting up. Next thing you want to do is test out the audio. So bring up any VST you have, any instrument, doesn't really matter. I'll just bring up Serum. And then make sure this is checked. I know Captain Obvious again, but in case you don't know with Ableton, you have to check this part on any track. So if I have like multiple tracks, for example, I have to click this right here. Let's say I have another mini one. I have to make sure the exact track is selected in order to play it. If it's like this, you might be like, wait a minute. I'm not hearing anything. But then when I have this clicked, good to go. 